Welcome back my fellow radiation nerds! Today we dive deep into what is arguably one of the best radiation meters out there. The Ludlum Model 3. The Ludlum Measurements Incorporated was established in 1962 by Don Ludlum. Not long after, it has produced its very first commercially available meter, the Ludlum Model 2. Ludlum's official YouTube channel has a very interesting video on one of the very first units ever made, with a serial number of 31, which I have linked in the description below. His meters quickly gained popularity and good reputation for their reliability and long use life, which quickly established Ludlum measurements as a trusted name in the world of radiation detection. The success of the initial models paved the way for the development of a wide range of survey meters and radiation detection equipment that continues to be used around the world to this day. Lulum meters are the go-to meters for many scientists and first responders because of their extremely rugged, reliable and easy to use design. Furthermore, Lulum measurements offers a wide range of probes and accessories which can be easily swapped out for various applications. Adding the long and proven track record, it is easy to see why Ludlum meters became the preferred choice for scientists worldwide. If you look at the Ludlum's product range, you will quickly realize that there are a bunch of different models out there. However, for personal use, I think these are the ones worth considering. If you want to learn more about different Ludlum models, I encourage you to read the detailed description on the Ludlum website. The Ludlum Model 3 has a range from 0 to 500,000 CPM and can supply voltage to the probe between 400 and 1500 volts. This flexibility allows it to work with a variety of different detectors, including scintillators and some neutron detectors. Most of the time I pair my Ludl Model 3 with a 44-9 probe, however I do change that occasionally depending on the situation. The meter features a rotary switch for selecting different measuring ranges and performing a battery test. It also includes both slow and fast averaging modes, which are particularly useful for obtaining accurate readings in varying conditions. Powered by two diesel batteries, the Model 3 offers approximately 2000 hours of use. The batteries are housed in a separate compartment, which helps to protect the electronics from potential damage in case of battery leakage. Additionally, all parts of Ludl Model 3 are sealed to prevent the moisture from entering the meter, enhancing its durability. These features clearly demonstrate that Ludl meters are built to last and why they have earned their stellar reputation. I acquired my Ludl Model 3 a few years ago and it has been my primary meter ever since. It has a serial number of 104, 163 and it has been manufactured on April 16, 1992. Despite its age, it operates absolutely flawlessly, having only small scratches from regular use. In order to ensure accurate readings, I calibrated my unit using a pulsar made by Geoelectronics. If you're interested in learning how to calibrate your meter, I recommend watching this video. My unit has a meter phase showing only counts per minute. If you have seen my previous video on how to measure radioactivity, you know I am not a big fan of those units when it comes to measuring activity of samples, so this works perfectly for me. Ludlum does offer different meter faces for different probes, however, I would still recommend sticking with the counts per minute. Originally, my meter came with a C-type connector, which is common on most Ludlum devices. However, this connector is hard to come by in Europe, so I replaced it with a BNC connector. This modification made it much easier to find compatible cables and probes. The meter also came equipped with a set of latches for a strap, which, while I don't use very often, they are a nice and handy addition for prolonged use, as the meter weighs over 1.5 kilos and can get heavy over time. Lastly, I crafted a probe holder for my 44-9 probe, from a sheet of metal. While it's not aesthetically pleasing, it gets the job done. I'm also thinking about adding a check source holder to the side of my meter, however, I can't seem to find one for a good price. If you know where I can get one, let me know in the comments below. So you want to buy a Ludlum meter? Congratulations, great, but where do you find one? If you're set on a brand new meter, you can purchase one directly from Ludlum website. However, be aware, their prices are generally aimed at labs and government agencies, not private individuals. 
a new Ludlum Model 3 will run you about 1000 bucks, and that's without any additional accessories or probes. In my opinion, it is a far better choice to buy used or refurbished unit online. Labs occasionally clear out their old inventory, and it is the best time to find used meters and probes at a relatively low price. I got my meter during one of those sales, and I paid only a fraction of what I would pay for a new one. When evaluating a used meter, ensure it is in a good visual condition. No dents, corrosion on battery ports, or cracked glass. Lulu meters are mostly analog, meaning they are very easy and inexpensive to repair if any internal parts would fail. This being said, I noticed that newer Ludlums are made with PCBs which use those micro components, which are much harder to work with unless you have proper tools for them. Ludlum is not the only company producing high quality radiation meters. Brands like Eberline or Johnson also offer fantastic meters that are worth checking out, often at a lower price than a Ludlum. For example, I found my Eberline 120 meter, which is similar to Ludlum Model 2, that came with a pancake probe and a check source holder for a whopping £110, and that's including international shipping. Good deals are out there, you just need to be patient and keep an eye out for them, and then eventually one will pop up. Ludlum meters are the industry standard for a reason, and I highly recommend checking them out. Their professional build, high performance and great versatility is what led me to purchasing one for myself, and I have absolutely no regrets. I'm curious to hear what meters are you using for your measurements. Do you have, or are you planning on investing in a Ludlum meter? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also, feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee and support my work financially. And remember, Stay active!